Uh, I can't really see you out there uh, right now, so you can sit down if you're standing up and worship. Great worship today. Thank you, man. That was awesome. Um, just want to just say something loudly and encourage you. Welcome to phase one. Does it feel different? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you haven't been watching uh, the governor's pronouncements, we've got three phases of this reopening plan, you know, uh, bars and restaurants are open, some gyms are open, that sort of thing. In Clackamas County, uh, I think there's a couple of counties left that haven't gone into phase one. Uh, but just to understand this, there are phases in this thing and how this thing we reopen from the lockdown, from the stay at home. The stay-at-home orders have been lifted a bit. There's still social distancing. We'll talk about that. But we just wanted to take this minute, a couple of minutes here, to explain to you where we're at. And that since we're all together kind of watching this, uh, those of us who are able to do this, and, and if you're watching this, I encourage you to share with other people who maybe haven't heard uh, where we're at on this. Uh, but there's three phases in the governor's plan, and we're trying to follow that as carefully as we can, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but the phase one means that you can gather in groups of 25 uh, in large uh, spaces, but you can gather in groups of 10 or so, uh, you know, in less distant spaces, okay? Which means small groups can meet, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So that's phase one, and that's where we're at right now. Um, phase two is when we go up to where it's, it's not clear. I mean, even the Oregonian uh, has, and the OregonLive.com has a hard time interpreting what's being said. Uh, it, phase two, maybe 50 people in a large space or 100 people, we're just, we're, 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 we're on it. Uh, and then finally, you know, phase three is when we'll be able to get back together again and hopefully in the fall, you know, there'll be some mitigation that we can, that can be done medically and so forth in terms of this virus. But all I want to say to you is that we are moving toward being back together soon and we can be together in certain ways right now. And uh, the reality is, is there are certain things that happen at each of those leather, uh, levels of being together that don't happen when we're by ourselves. And, you know, there's, there's corporate worship. There's things that happen there that can't happen in other little venues and other little things. So that's why we're, it's important for all of these things and why we feel the way we do about it. Uh, let me just say something about... The pronouncements that keep coming out, um, and this is just <clears throat> sort of how we're taking it. Uh, I want you to know that your staff is on it on a daily basis. I mean, maybe you've noticed that national pronouncements don't always match up with state pronouncements, and state pronouncements and national pronouncements tend to change day to day. Models change to change day to day. So we're on it every day. We're on a daily gathering of information and texting, and here's all what's going on. Your staff is, your senior staff is doing that. Um, also, we're connected with a group of uh, PDX pastors that have already met. The Palau organization brought a bunch of pastors together. There's a document out there that has been sent to the governor that we put our name to as Eastridge Church um, saying, hey, we're following as far as we can follow, but you need to consider that we need to open up and so forth. And, and uh, that's why I think we'll probably have some more information for worship and, and uh, religious groups uh, soon. Uh, but I don't expect it to be, you know, somehow open the door right now altogether. And then I'm going to be on a Zoom call with Pacific Northwest Covenant pastors this week of churches that are larger uh, than 500, the large churches in our conference, to see what we're doing and, and conversation. So we're in, we're in touch with a lot of people trying to sort this out. And, uh, you know, uh, the reality is I know some of these pronouncements raise more questions and need more clarification than before we had the pronouncements. So uh, we're working our way through it, but I think we're moving in a good pace. And right now, in phase one, what we're going to do is we're going to start this kind of opening up. We're going to start this in a very Book of Acts sort of way. We're going to focus on house churches, okay? And, and you know, what phase one means is that for three weeks, uh, the state is hoping to see continuing decline in uh, infection levels and, and therefore deaths, that sort of trails behind the infection uh, rates. Um, and our, our zip code in Happy Valley is doing very well. I, I didn't check today, but a couple of days ago I checked and there had only been one infection found in the last uh, week or week and a half or so. Uh, but, you know, those things can tend to go up and down, so we're not going to, you know, just... We're not going to go up and down with the weather here. We're going to, we're going to follow through on this and, and do the right things, uh, but encourage you to continue with all, all the things you can do because you're adults, and we're going to trust you with that. You know, when you gather with your group, 
Uh, if you feel like you need to use masks, use masks. Keep socially distant as much as you can. Uh, you know, our group is meeting this afternoon, first time face-to-face. We're having deck church. We're going to meet on our deck, so it's going to be fun. There's not going to be any rain either, I'm quite certain. So, um, but, you know, for those who are vulnerable, you know, and you've already got some medical conditions, or you're, if you're sick and you're feeling fever, just... You know, we all know what to do with that. We, we, we stay away. We, we, we encourage people, and, and we reach out to those who are vulnerable that can't get to connected with a group, and, and, and that's happening already. I'm so happy to see it's happening already, and I'm so happy for the letters that I'm getting. I, was, I woke up in the middle of the night last night, just all of a sudden, the sense of uh, joy in my heart just kind of went boom, and I thought, yeah, it's that letter that I got, and then, and then that letter, and, that, and that what God's doing in the midst of us uh, even though this is, this is going on. We're taking care of each other and looking after each other. But uh, the reality is, is that in this, this house church, we encourage you to get together with your house church for the 915 live stream, and therefore we're all going to be worshiping together. It's okay if, if you don't feel you know, safe yet in your group getting together or if somebody doesn't. Uh, just try to make um, you know, opportunities for those people to somehow connect with you in your group as they, they worship and watch in, from their own homes, okay? Or if you're a person who, you know, in the midst of this shutdown and stay at home, you've gotten used to getting up at the crack of noon, uh, your group, you can still watch the recording same day if you want to gather together a little later. So all I'm saying is there's opportunities for all of that to happen in this phase. And again, we're going through this in three weeks, so here's some things to, to pray about. First of all, pray about um, doing house church, temporary house church. Jordan sent out a letter about it. It's very helpful stuff in there. Uh, and uh, those of you who are shepherd leaders, I encourage you to check that out again. But um, just pray about doing it even if, you're, if, if you, your group hasn't decided yet. If, your group ha- if you don't have a group, uh, reach out, you know, check in with Jordan or um, check in with somebody maybe you know that isn't a group about maybe being able to get together, or, you know, if, you're, if you uh, want to form up a group of, you know, three, four people or couples or up to ten people, then do it. And, and this is sort of, at least for now, it's a, a three-week um, opportunity to sort of really make these connections uh, uh, strong so that when we do open up more, that those groups, our, our lives are still, uh, you know, we're able to still kind of connect with each other in the same way. And then secondly, pray for the well-being of your church family and the people in your group and the people that aren't in your group and all of the people that God brings to your mind for the well-being and the health of people because we want to we do this in a healthy fashion and look after everybody as much as we can and trust the Spirit beyond that, not to move forward with fear, but with courage and hope that's based in the presence of Jesus and the Spirit of God, okay? And then the third thing I'm going to ask you to pray for is pray for our governor. Pray for our president. Pray for the council of the medical council, the coronavirus council. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and, and as they kind of make these decisions and as they sort of work through these things. And pray that the numbers keep declining. Pray that God steps in and addresses this and saves people physically and spiritually in these next three weeks. And let, let's just trust him for what comes. Because remember, as we said, or was, as Jesus said, really, um, what we are looking at is uh, we want to be people who come out of this thing not knowing the future, but knowing that we are going to live for Jesus and be resilient no matter what. That's what it is. And, and these are exciting days in that sense to be alive. In the midst of the suffering and the hurt, Jesus is here. And he can make good even come out of this. And I'm praying, and I want you to pray with me, that that's what he does in our church family in these days. So God bless you. Thanks for staying on and listening to all this. And I'm praying for you. And, and thank you for praying for us and, and the leadership and the, the worship team. And, you know, God has really protected us in, in so many ways in the midst of all this. And he's done so many things to bring people together. And I'm hearing that from you. And I'm so glad and so happy about that. Uh, but God bless you this week. And hopefully we'll, we'll be able to connect with some friends. And all of us will be able to see one another again, at least this way, next week. God bless you. And stay safe. You are my, your grace